Hey everyone, welcome to the Kiefer's Hot Rod Shop YouTube channel. I'm Nick Kiefer, and uh, in this episode, I'm going to be taking a break from uh, working on cars, which I usually do, and uh, I'm going to take y'all through the build of this super cool telly. All right, here's the pre-build mock-up. Nice pig guard and body from Warmoth. Have a uh, Stuart McDonald 59 style top loader, uh, cut bridge, and a uh, genuine fender control plate. And these babies from Seymour Duncan. Got some other goodies here. Um, nice uh, flat top telly knob. I'm going for uh, all 59 style on this. It's got the uh, flat spot for the jack and a little bump for the vintage style uh, body shape. And uh, it is a eight hole pit guard. By 59 they had the eight hole. This gorgeous bird's eye maple neck, also from Warmoth. It's a uh, vintage style neck. Obviously a uh, slab rosewood with some nice uh, skinny tall frets and a uh, it's actually a tusk nut and uh, it's got a nice uh, thick profile should be super comfortable to play so that should really pop with some nitro on it going to be uh, spraying an amber on it and uh, giving it a bunch of coats of lacquer. All right, so now I'm going to show you all how I fit a pair of PAF humbuckers into a telly body. I'm going to be routing it out for these and uh, just kind of setting everything up here with the pickup ring and starting marking stuff. I've got a... Uh, template from Stuart McDonald for routing the cavities. All right, so I've got the template set up. And I'm going to go ahead and route this guy out for the humbucker. And I've got a uh, bearing uh, bit here, um, both the template and bit from Stuart McDonald. And um, I've got it set up. Um, just kind of to cut the uh, minimum amount. I kind of want it riding on both of those bearings just for extra support. <clears throat> but i uh, got to take it in steps. Don't want to get too carried away because that can overheat stuff and even break a bit, which I do not want to do. Um, so I'm going to take a few passes at this until I get to the desired depth. And um, then I'll move the uh, template back and uh, make some room for another humbucker back here. Just ran that bad boy around in here and uh, made a nice, very appropriately shaped cavity. Um, it was a pretty deep cut, but worked pretty nicely. So um, I'm gonna take at least one or two more steps and um, keep, keep going down until I've got uh, plenty of room Stuart McDonald actually uh, has some suggested depths on here, so that's pretty sweet. Um, just depending kind of on the next setup or whatever. It says Fender and Gibson, so I figure that's for a set neck or bolt-on neck, angled or flat. So I'm going to check that out, and I'm also going to see how deep this original single coil notch is. And uh, maybe that'll be the perfect depth, or maybe I'll need to go a little lower. Also, I think I need a little more space for the screws on either end, so um, I might either be drilling down into there or um, setting up the router a little deeper, but we'll check it out, and I'll probably mock up a pickup on the pick guard and just kind of make sure everything's good to go, but um, we'll, uh, I'm going to run it again a little deeper, and we'll uh, check All it right, out. All right, I made another pass, and... Um, the actual depth of the cavity in the wood is 5 eighths of an inch, and that's um, 
that's level with the like original tele route this thing says uh, go to 11 sixteenths um, depth on a uh, fender it actually says it over here so <clears throat> I might um, it's at 5 eighths I might go just another uh, eighth go to full three quarters or um, not sure I'm gonna kind of measure pick up and I just want to make sure I have enough room and um, want to make sure everything's gonna fit in there nicely all right so uh, looking at this I'm gonna need to go deeper and um, what I want to do <clears throat> is place that kind of whitish bluish transparent spacer between the bearings and the um, blade part of the bit there and um, move those bearings up and move the the cutter down um, so I think what I'm gonna do uh, before I do that is go ahead move the template over to the other position and um, use this as is and then set it up like that and then do both of them um, in that other configuration so uh, I was just measuring the the pickup and um, it might need a little more depth, especially for wiring and stuff, but it's pretty close. The ends will definitely need to be a lot deeper though, so I'm going to get that all set up and uh, we'll check it out uh, once it's all set up. Over all right. Here. I've got the uh, template position at the bridge position and I'm ready to give it a go. So I'm going to set the uh, depth up similarly to how I did that one and uh, go ahead and uh, route this out. All right, one level down and uh, another to go, and then uh, I'm gonna set up the uh, uh, the bearings and spacer differently and uh, go a little deeper in this one and then switch it back to that and uh, do the same. All right, I started by uh, setting the depth uh, to the depth of that original tele route there but um found out that put the uh nut of the uh collet chuck on the router right into my template so gave that a little bevel with that collet tightener there and um that's all right it's still perfectly usable <laughs> just knock the uh knock the corner off so it's definitely mine now, but <laughs> um, all good. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll I'll go ahead and rearrange these spacers, um, and um, might might put a longer one on there, and go ahead and and make this where it's uh, cutting that depth uh, of that original Tele bridge pickup there. That seems about right. Um, for uh for both of these with the humbucker so i'm going to set that up and then we'll uh check that out all right here's my uh, new setup i put a longer spacer between the uh, cutter and the bearings and put that other spacer i had um, on there before between the bearings and the uh, collet there so i've set it up to the depth of this original tele cavity and um I'm going to go ahead and run that. It's uh, three quarters of an inch. And then um, I'm gonna run it in here. What I'm gonna need to do is kind of make um, areas for the uh, the adjuster screws. Um, so I think I'll drill those and I might actually um, route ovals in there um, kind of for the tangs of the bottom of the humbuckers to go down in there but I'll uh I'll show you that later we'll check that out here in a sec but I'm gonna route that out and um and then uh switch it to that one and and get that one to that same depth cool down to three quarters of an inch and uh next I need to do this and actually I might go ahead and take care of those uh 
little pockets for the uh, adjuster screws next. So what I've done here is I've uh, used tape to mark the uh, depth of the screw plus the thickness of the uh, router template. And so I'm going to drill this straight down where these screws go and uh, make room for the screws and also make room for that router bit to uh, oval out a space for the bases of these pickups. Those go down um, and this, this pickup is set just about as shallow as, a, as you'd ever go um, with the setup. But, you know, the bases of those are around, um, you know, 15 sixteenths. And then the screws go a little over an inch and an eighth deep. So I've got this marked at an inch and a half. The template is a little thinner than three eighths of an inch. So there should be plenty of room for these screws. Um, obviously, I don't want to go through the back of the guitar, but I know that it's about an inch and three quarters thick. So as long as that green tape is above the router template, it will be nowhere near the back of the guitar. So I'm going to poke those holes and then stick the router bit in the template to kind of oval out for those just to make room in case that thing has to be adjusted really deep into the body for string clearance or um, whatever it may need. Cool. I've got the uh, holes poked in there and uh, next I'll set the router up to route out kind of in this uh, side oval area here um, on either side and um, just make room for the bottom tangs of those pickups if they need to be adjusted that low. All right, cool. I've got the uh, ovals routed in and uh, obviously the holes drilled and now I'm gonna move over to this one and I might try to do that step first and then raise it back up to three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna see what the uh, depth of cut looks All like. All right, cool. I've got the holes drilled and the ovals cut for the neck pickup. And um, now I just need to uh, route the bottom surface here to the uh, same depth as this rear bridge pickup. And then the uh, humbucker cavity should be uh, good to go. All right, sweet. It fits. Uh, I don't imagine this pickup will ever have to be this low, but... Um, good to know it's got room for adjustment. The, uh, the screws seem to be uh, pretty close. I just gave them a little more clearance with the drill bit. Um, so I think I was just right there. Just drilled it down a little bit more just by hand and um, seems to be clearing pretty well. But they're really long. I might even trim the screws a little bit. Um, especially if I need to when I do the final setup, so not a real big huge deal, but um, just want to make sure everything's functional. And that's totally awesome. All right, righteous. Looks like the uh, bridge pickup's gonna work out great too. It's uh, super low down. Um, I'm hoping that this uh, pickup ring's not too high. Um, you know, the way fenders are, the strings are level in the next level with the uh, body. But I think that's going to be pretty good, uh, especially uh, knowing, you know, the shape of the Telecaster bridge. And that looks like it's going to work out pretty nicely. And um, I think these saddles are riding pretty low right now. There's plenty of adjustment screw poking up. But um, that's some cool looking hardware right there, man. I'm, uh, I'm stoked. Uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and sand the body some and um, uh, put some uh, grain filler on it. 
fill in some of these pores and then um, start piling on the nitro. It's going to be a pretty cool build and um, pretty stoked about the uh, chrome or nickel neck pickup cover. I just kind of wanted that to look more like the telly and then um, this is actually a uh, JB it's actually a trim bucker um, just because I wanted the uh, appropriate spacing for the uh, fender bridge so it should be a pretty cool combo it should have some good output and uh, be a really sweet uh, sweet axe all right on the neck here I've been um, using the uh, round sanding block with some 320 just to kind of smooth out the uh, neck to headstock transition here um, to make it look really smooth but also be nice for the uh, web between the uh, index finger and thumb um, some of the old 50s fenders uh, shaved by Tadeo Gomez um, had a really nice transition that I like to kind of emulate. Um, this is a super nice warm with neck and they do a really good job and I, I liked how it was. I just wanted to round it off a little more just to, uh, just to make sure it's kind of, it looks right and, and feels right. All right. It's looking really sweet, nice and smooth. Super rounded. I'm going to continue working on this thing and I'll uh, update you as I uh, go through the steps. Cool. Well, I hope you all enjoyed looking at the uh, process of getting the body and neck ready for paint. And um, in the next episode, I'm going to take you all through how I uh, put the nitrocellulose lacquer finish on this thing. So hope you all check that out. And uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.